We're going to start with a warm up. We're going to do a nice sort of foundations class today. So we are going to work hard but simple. So nothing too difficult, uh, uh, complicated, let me say that. But I really want you to focus on the core muscles, your shoulder blade muscles, arms out to the side. Let's roll those shoulders been a great week so let's finish it off well breathing out rolling the shoulders that's it and then big circles breathing out we're going to do our dynamic warm-up today we did our roll downs and our static one on the floor yesterday so let's do our dynamic warm-up today breathing out all right standing up nice and tall grabbing your knee pulling it into your chest and changing sides we're going to go for three each side alternating working on that balance muscles joints nerves especially first thing in the morning that's it one more each side really focus on your core as you try and hold yourself perfect now grabbing under the shin and under your knee and pulling that leg up and change good Two more each side. That's it, breathing out. One more each side. Feel that stretch in your glutes. Nice work. All right, standing up nice and tall. Grab your foot behind you, tuck those hips under, reaching up. Good, try and hold that balance if you can. And change. Breathing out, changing sides. It's always a bit tricky. If you need to hold on to something for balance, you can hold on to a roller or a wall. Now we're going to hold it here. Either to keep this or we're going to reach forward. Only if your balance allows. And coming up nice. And changing sides. Breathing out. Find a spot to focus. When I look at the screen, I lose my balance. Okay, so don't look at the screen, just focus on your balance. Anyway, let's cross your right leg over your left, reaching down to the floor, relax the head. And coming up, opening up in between and changing sides, left over right. Make sure you relax your head, because that last part of relaxing the head really gets that stretch further. Breathing out and change. Nice, opening up and changing sides one more each side relax the head take a few seconds in this position last time that's it nice all right opening up those legs nice and wide slide your hands down your right leg try and have a nice flat back stick your bottom out stretching round and up on the left Good, let's go down that left leg, reaching round. And up, very nice, two more. Breathing out, stretch. And up, perfect. Down the left, stretching round. Last one each side. Think of sticking your bottom out behind you, really reaching forward. And up, perfect, last time. Very nice. All right, we're going to start our workout standing up. We're going to go into some basic squats. So stand with your feet hip distance apart, knees facing forward. We're going to drop down into a squat, arms come up and coming up. When you go back, I want you to send your hips right back. Imagine you're sitting on a chair or a toilet. So you're not bending forward. You literally send those hips back and coming up and squeeze at the top. Nice. As you lift your arms, think of sliding those shoulder blades away from the ears down. Breathing out, that's it. Let's go for 10. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze that bottom, breathing out, making sure those knees stay over your toes. That's perfect. Nice work. Squeeze tummy, squeeze bum. Let's go for five. Four, shoulder blades down and back. Three, two, lovely, 
and one. Now from here, we're gonna go into one last squat and we're gonna walk forward into a plank. So we're gonna squat down, place your hands down on the floor and walk them forward into that plank. Nice. Holding it here. Now you're gonna walk those hands back towards your feet. We're gonna do five walk-ups and curling up. So let's go for five. So now you're gonna curl down Walking out, hold the plank, shoulder blades over your hands, tummy pulled in, perfect, and walking back. If you're able to do this without bending your knees, that's perfect. If you need to bend your knees, absolutely fine. Nice, we've got three more. Curling down nice and slowly, tummy pulled in away from the floor. Shoulders down and back. And back. Very nice. Two more. Rolling down through your spine, one vertebra at a time, walking out. Shoulders down and back, tummy in. Curling up. We've got one more and we're going to stay in that plank. Curling down. Reaching out. Very nice. Now from here, let's go into a downward dog. Stretch. Back to that plank for 10. As you downward dog, stick your shoulders through your, your chest through your shoulders. As you come back to that plank, slide those shoulder blades away from the ears. Tummy pulled in the whole time. Breathing out and back. We've got five. <laughs> four more keep your form shoulders away from the ears squeeze that bottom nice work three more stretch enjoy that stretch very nice last one and then we're going to drop our knees down to the floor dropping those knees down very nice we're going to go into one of our basic exercises, stretching your opposite arm and leg away. So we're going to take your left arm and your right leg. You're going to stomach pulled in, shoulders down and back. We're going to reach that opposite arm and leg away. Stretch, tummy pulled in. And sliding them back on the floor. Very good. Change sides. I want you to visualize sliding those hands and foot on the floor as far as you can and then keep lengthening as you lift. We're not just lifting up, back stay straight. And down, tummy pulled in all the time. Breathing in. Shoulder blades away from the ears, really working in this position. Sliding back. As you change sides, you also don't wanna get a massive weight shift. You don't wanna see your body changing too much. Perfect. We've got four more, uh, two more each side, four more. Reach and down. Control, use those abs to hold you. Stretch it away, make sure you're not arching. That's beautiful, one more each side. And down, last time. Very nice, taking it back into a child's pose, have a little stretch here. That's it. Think of sort of kneading the floor. So you're stretching the other sides. Nice. Taking it back if you can, if your knee's okay. Good. And then coming back onto all fours. We're going to do a little stretch here. So making sure you stay here. We're going to reach your one arm up towards the ceiling. What I want to make sure is that you don't move your whole body across. So you keep your body in the center in the middle, and we're just twisting from that upper back. And then down, changing sides, breathing out. Straight, make sure we don't lean, that's it. Have your knees a little bit apart. Tummy pulled in. Very nice. Stretch, try and follow your hand with your head. 
Good, let's go for four more. Breathing out. Good work. You'll find often one side's much tighter than the other. So good to do this. We always have an imbalance. We've got one more each side. Very good, last time. Nice work. All right, holding it here, we're gonna work those shoulder blades. We're gonna do protraction, retraction of those shoulder blades in this four point kneeling position. Tummy pull them back nice and flat, slide those shoulders down. And you want to visualize, it's a small movement. I'm not rounding my back. Back stays dead still. It's just those scapula going around the rib cage. That's it. Small movement, let's go for 10. Pushing the floor away. Tummy stays nice and tight, back flat. That's it, let's go for five more, perfect. Four. Three, breathing out. Two. One, very nice. Now we're gonna go into a hover in this position. Tuck your toes under at the back. Keep those knees directly under your hips. We're gonna breathe out, lift the knees for five. Shoulders down and back, let's go. Breathing out and lift for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Four more, breathing out. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice, three more, breathing out to lift. Good, and down, two more. Lift, keep that back nice and flat, tummy pulled in and down, last one. Make sure your knees are under your hips. Last one, five, four, three, two, one, and down, very nice. Let's come lie on your back. We're gonna work on our sit-ups, because I know you struggle a bit with sit-ups. So we're gonna start at the top, Feet hip distance apart, arms out in front of you, shoulders down. From here, I want you to really focus on starting your sit up from here. So we're gonna curl down, you wanna tuck that pelvis under, and you're gonna roll down, look at your belly button. Only go as far as you can when you feel your feet coming up, and then rolling up. So I want all the work to be in your tummy. Let's go. Shoulders down, tummy pulled in, Curl down, look at your belly button, rolling back as far as you can. And when you feel your feet, so that's too far. So you want to not go all the way down to the floor. Stop yourself just before you get to that. Whoa, I'm going. Okay. So you've got to really judge it, rolling back. And stop there, coming up. Very good. Come up all the way. And then we're going for 10, breathing out, curling down, pull that belly button in and curling up as soon as you feel you're just about to go. That's it. Breathing out, tummy pulled in. Look at your belly button. And up. Nice work. Rolling down. Curling down. For those doing the recording, go as far as you can manage without going all the way down. Really control it. Don't let your feet come up. Nice work, we've got five more. Breathing out. Really tuck that tailbone towards your nose. Think of tipping that tailbone. You really wanna tuck tummy in. Let's go for three more. Rolling down. Good work, very nice. Really round that spine. Two. Shoulders down and back, last one, and we're gonna roll all the way down, coming to lie on your back. Good, onto your back, have your knees bent, feet quite close to your bottom if you can. You wanna try and touch your heels, or as close as you can. We're gonna go into our pelvic curl. So on a breath out, you're gonna start by breathing out, tilting that pubic bone to the ceiling, pushing through your heels, curling up one vertebra at a time. Squeeze, and keep that tilt, and curling down all the way. When you curl down, imagine dropping your back onto the floor like one vertebra at a time. Breathing out, push, squeeze. That's it, and curling down, we're going for 10. 
tummy pulled in. <sighs> Breathing out, really focus on pushing through the heels, keeping that belly button pulled in, keeping that posterior tilt and curling down one vertebra at a time. This is five. Lift, squeeze, feel that butt work. With your feet closer together, you feel your butt. If your feet are too far away, you'll feel your hamstrings more. Both are good muscles to work, but for now we're focusing on the glute. So that's why we keep the heels closer. We've got three more. Tummy pull in, scooping those abs in. One, two more, sorry. Then we're gonna hold it there. Curling up, hold it here. Tilt, tummy pulled in, we're gonna march those legs. Lift one leg up and down. Now keep your hips up. Breathing out, tummy pulled in. The foot that's on the floor, really push through that heel. Let's go for five, four, three, two, nice work, one, curling it all the way down and hug those knees into your chest, rock side to side, just stretching out that low back, nice, alright, holding it here, we're going to go into our leg swaps, so legs in tabletop, try and have your knees over your hips, but you must be able to keep your low back glued to the floor. So tilting that tailbone, we're going to breathe in and out as you come up. Changing sides. Tummy pulled in, think of tilting that tailbone to your nose. Beautiful. Good job, low back says glued to the roller. We've got five, four, feel those abs working. Three, two, one, placing those feet down on the floor, very nice, let's roll onto our side. Okay, so you're going to roll facing me, I'm on my right side, doesn't matter what side you're on because we're going to do both. I want you to bend your knees up in line with your hips, feet at 90, tummy pulled in, we're going to go for our fire hydrant for 20. Breathing out, that's it, working that butt. You want to keep those hips facing forward. Perfect. I've got my hand on my hip because then I can actually feel that I'm working those ab muscles. <sighs> Breathing out. Squeeze. Nice work. We've got 10 more. Tummy pulled in. <sighs> Even in this position, think of pulling those shoulders away from the ears. You don't want to be hunched here. We still want to have that good form. For five. Four. Three, two, one, very nice. Now lift your feet off the floor. We're going to go into our clam. Tummy pull in, open and close for 15. And again, keeping those hips facing forward. That's it. Shoulders down and back, tummy in. 10. Starting to feel it. That's it, again, keeping those hips facing forward, that's perfect. Whew, it's tight. Five, four, three, nearly there, keep those feet up, nice work. Two, one, dropping those feet down to the floor. Last exercise for 10, we're gonna go knee to knee, toe to toe. So your underneath leg stays down and you're just rotating that top thigh, one, Two, nice work, keep the hips still. Three, four, this burns out the last few fibers. Five, six, seven, eight, woo, nine, ten, and relax it down. Well done. Right, we're going to go onto our back for one more ab in between this butt, so lying on your back. We're going to lift up those legs. We're going to go into our single leg stretch. So tummy pulled in, legs and table pop top. You can have your hands behind your head if you want, but the head stays on the floor. We're gonna stretch one leg out and up, very nice. 
keeping your pelvis as still as you can. So as you go, you're not letting your coccyx tip to the floor. You want to keep it pulled up to your nose. Breathing in and out. Tummy pulled in. Low back glued to the floor. Nice work. We've got five. Four. Three. Two. I've miscounted, so one more each side. <laughs> Very nice. Let's roll up and change sides. So coming to now on your other side for our little butt series. Working the glutes is so important for your back, which is why I'm always doing it for your back and your knees. Knees in line with your hips. There we go. All okay, Felix? Yeah. Okay. Is that open the window? Okay, so tummy pulled in, knee in line with hips. We're going to go for 20 fire hydrant. Let's go. Breathing out. And having your hand on the hip, make sure you're kind of working those abs. So put your fingers just on the inside of the hip bone. Make sure those hips stay facing forward. Don't let them roll back. Breathe out every time you lift. That's it. And leave the movement with the knee. Try not to open too much. It's just facing forward. Let's go for 10. That's it. Tummy pull in each time, breathing out. Five. That's it. Three, two, one. Very nice. Knees together. Lift the feet. 15 of the clam. Let's go. Breathing out. Open and close the knees. Hips stay facing forward. Tummy pulled in. Nice. That's five. We've got ten more. Feel the burn in this butt. Really focus on as you breathe out, pulling that belly button in even more. Sucking everything in. Nice. Five more. Woo. Burny, burny. That's it, three. Last one. Oh, goodness gracious. Right, now we've got 10, knee to knee, toe to toe. Let's go, breathing out. One, two, nice, perfect. Three, four, shoulders down and back. Five. Let's keep it going, I'm dying. Three more. Two. One. Woo. Very nice. Well done. All right. We're going to have a nice stretch. We don't often stretch too much on a Friday. Lying on your back. I want your arms on the floor about 45 degrees up. Palms facing up. We're going to take your right ankle, cross it onto that left knee. And I want you to take your knees to the right side. So you're opening them up. I'm not taking them across. We're opening them up. So take them down to your right side with that right knee on your, on your left and pulling them open. That's it. Pulling them down. And I want you to stretch this left arm away from you. Try and reach it away so you get a good stretch the whole way here. You want to aim to keep your hand on the floor, if it's possible, not hurting yourself though. Look at that hand, reach it away, and then use your foot to try and push this leg down. That's it. Beautiful, holding it there. With each breath, just breathe out a little bit more, stretching that leg, relaxing it. Nice, bringing those knees back into the middle. And now we're taking them down to the left side. So now you can pull that top leg across with your hand. Same legs. Don't change legs yet. So your right ankle is still on your left. No, keep the same leg. And now pulling it down across you. That's it. You can use your hand to pull that knee down. And look at your opposite arm. You want to stretch it away. Breathing out. Your aim is to get that knee down towards the floor. So use your hand to get a little pressure. That's it. Nice. 
with each breath out, get a little bit more range. And coming back to the middle, very nice. Right, now we're gonna change legs. So take your left leg, cross it onto your right thigh. Take your knees down to the left side, so I'm opening up my hips. And look at that right arm, stretch it away. You wanna get a nice stretch in this whole anterior line, very good. Reach it away. Try and get your knee down to the floor if you can. Breathing out, stretch. Lovely, bringing those knees back up. And keep that same ankle crossed over, taking them now to the right side. You can use that right hand to pull your knee down. So now we're stretching out the low back. You wanna keep that arm stretched out. Look at your left hand. Reach it away. <coughs> Breathing out, that's it. Nice, coming back to the middle. Put both feet on the floor. Have your feet nice and wide, like wide like your mat. And you're just gonna roll those knees side to side. This helps just release the back, taking them side to side. That's it, have your feet nice and wide. Breathing out, very good. Nice, now we're just gonna stretch out our middle back. So lying on your side facing me, have your arms out in front of you, knees bent up. So bring those knees up, facing me, have your arms in front. And we're gonna open up those shoulders. So lying on your side, face me, arms in front, and let's go opening up those shoulders towards the floor. Your knees stay facing me, and bringing that arm back. So start with yourself properly on your side. That's it, all the way, there we go. Arms together in front of you, and you're gonna open up, breathing out. And coming back, we're gonna go five times, that's it. Coming back to the side, so you bring that same arm forward and back. The screen is full. Hey? The screen is full. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> that's it. Five times, we've got two more. Breathing out, you wanna try and keep those knees together and just stretching that middle back. Very nice. All right, coming on to your other side. So knees bent up in front of you on your side, arms out in front. Keep those knees facing forward. And we're gonna open up, try and get those shoulders to the floor. Shoulders facing the ceiling. Five times. That's it, open, beautiful. Such a good stretch, especially for people who work sitting at a desk, to try and twist that spine, get some movement. Nice, let's go for two more. Perfect. Keep going forward and back with that last one. Very nice, coming up into sitting. Well done, Felix, thank you so much. That was a great class, good start to my day. Have a fabulous weekend, and we'll see you next week.